welcome to Watch Me Code. In the previous series, we worked on setting up an HTTP post to send files directly to an Amazon S3 bucket. We started by looking at the documentation, setting up a basic HTML form, using the form submit to send the file to Amazon, but also intercepting that form submit so that we could receive an API call response from our own server, generating the necessary security policy, cryptographic signature, and everything else that we needed in order to actually complete the post to S3 in a secure manner. At the end of that series, we set up a working version of the same code inside of my WatchMeCode media administration so that I can upload files to my server using the Manage Episodes and the Add File button. Now in those episodes, the code that I wrote wasn't terribly great. I'm looking at it here on screen right now, and it's functional, it, it, it clearly works, and it's not too terribly badly organized, I guess, but there's just a lot going on inside this file. There's too many responsibilities, and I don't really like the way I have everything crammed into one file here. In this series, then, we're going to fix this problem. We're going to take an existing jQuery setup inside of this code, and we're going to restructure this into a more modern setup. We're going to be using ES6 modules, various other ES6 features, Babel.js to compile this from ES6 down to ES5, and then also Browserify to compile the modules into a module loader that can be used directly in our browser. Now I do have some of this code moved around a little bit already, and I want to go over that really quickly. Over here in the admin folder, I have a client folder. The admin folder, of course, being the admin web application. This client folder is where I'm going to contain the source, which is the file you're currently looking at, for the uploader process. I also have this build folder, which is going to be the output of the Babel build. So the build folder will contain the temporary files that Browserify will end up building against. So there's a couple of different steps in here. There's going to be the Babel and then the Browserify and then sending everything from Browserify out to the browser itself. The final result will end up getting put inside of this public assets dashboard in the upload.js file. So I do have all of this configured, and I do have this basically working in terms of the build process at this point, and I'm not going to cover exactly how all of that is set up. I will show you very quickly that I do have a grunt configuration where I do have Babel, Browserify, JS Hint, and the grunt contrib watch to manage all of it. So you can see that all of this is being automated, but I'm not going to show you the exact setup because I do have existing Watch Me Code series to cover this. For example, if you want to learn about Babel, you can hit the Learn ES6 Live series where I do cover at least some introduction to Babel and various uses of it throughout the series. I also have a series on Browserify where I talk about how it works and how you can set it up. Finally, there's the Node Workflow, which kind of takes a lot of these different pieces and puts them all together into a final Node.js web development workflow at the bottom here. So if you need information on how to get Babel and Browserify and Grunt and everything else set up, check out these existing series that I have and then come back to the new series that we're currently watching. Now, with all that being said, there is a lot of work to do, and I do want to get started fairly quickly. But as I said before, I've got some of this kind of set up and already in place, including the client source index.js file, which contains the existing code, copy and paste verbatim, that I previously written into my application. However, when I head over to the actual app and I try to use this, if I look at the JavaScript console, I'm getting an error right here, and it's saying that uploader is not defined. Well, that's because this code, which used to be setting up a global variable called uploader, is now being wrapped inside of a Browserify module. Therefore, this uploader object doesn't exist. So the very first thing that we're going to do is fix this problem. We need to get out of this old school module format and into a very basic working ES6 module format or Browserify module format like CommonJS uses. We need to do something to get this code working again as is using the new build process that we have in place. So check out the Watch Me Code series on restructuring jQuery for information on how we're going to move away from the current setup with this old school module into a more modern setup while restructuring the code into something far more maintainable and manageable and easier to read. Thanks for watching and happy JavaScripting.